What's going on guys? Astro with Hidden Profits Crypto, a channel focused on bringing the best low cap hidden gems and turn you into a smart risk, high reward investor. Today we're going to go over how you can provide liquidity, whether that be single or double sided liquidity on the CADEX platform. Now, currently there is a opportunity to earn 180% APR uh, on that liquidity that you're providing. Um, now that is all in rewards of KDX, but let's not get too ahead of ourselves. It's going to be a very simple and easy tutorial you guys aren't going to want to miss. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so here we are at swap.cadex.com. Now, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to the liquidity tab, obviously, uh, and here you will see tokens and you will see pools. Now, at first, we're just going to go ahead and check out the tokens here. These are all single-sided liquidity, but you can go over here to the pools, and this is where you're going to have your pairs. So, you know, there's a bunch of pairs here, um, but we're really just going to focus on the KDA, KDX pair here. Now, if you do not have KDX and you want to buy some, I do have a very simple tutorial on how you can actually purchase the KDX. So go ahead and check that out if you're interested. But we're going to go ahead and click add liquidity. And that's going to bring us to this page right here. Now you can see here, this is where you can pick the two tokens that you want to provide liquidity for. Uh, like we said, we're going to be doing KDX and KDA. Now up here at the top, you can actually switch your rewards. So here you're just going to get the standard rewards. Uh, but if you flip the switch, this is where you're going to get that 180% APR that we were talking about in the beginning. Uh, and you're going to be getting that back in KDX rewards. So here you can select single sided and double sided liquidity. Uh, you can just pick pick whichever token it is that you want to go ahead and add the single sided liquidity. Um, so, you know, if you wanted to add just the KDA, uh, you can do that. But um, we're going to go over that here in just a second. First, we're going to do the double sided liquidity and show you guys how you'll be able to do that. So here you can say I have the KDX token and the KDA tokens uh, selected. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click max here for KDX. So it's going to go ahead and add the max amount of KDX that I have available. And it's going to add the equal amount of KDA that I need for that. So I'm going to go ahead down here at the bottom and click supply. Now, once I do that, it's going to ask me to go into my wallet and sign the transaction. Uh, I am using Zellcore for this, so I'm going to just go ahead and quickly sign and send the transaction. All right. Now that I've got that done, uh, once you do that, you will get the transaction details here. Uh, you can see everything you're going to get, the amount of KDX and KDA. Uh, we're going to get about $2.15. Now, this is just a little bit just to show you guys how to do it, um, but you can see there's equal amounts there. I'm going to go ahead and click confirm, and then we're going to get this transaction pending right here. Now, uh, if you want to go ahead and check out your little notifications up here at the top is this little bell, and this is going to show all your notification history. It'll pop up here. So um, we're going to go ahead and give this transaction a minute to go ahead and go through. And once it does, we will come back. All right. So we can see here that the transaction has been successful and we're going to go ahead and check our liquidity now. So to do so, we're going to go ahead and go back here and then you'll see this little my liquidity tab up here at the top. We're going to go ahead and click that and then that will bring up the pair uh, that we have our liquidity in. So you can see here I have my KDA and my KDX tokens in there and you can see my pool share. So here's where you can add more if you would like to. You can click that little plus and it's just going to bring you right back to this add liquidity page and it's the same process. Now, if we go ahead and go back real quick, um, it will take us right back to that page. And then um, here is where you can actually take the liquidity out if you want to. So if you go ahead and click that little minus button, that will bring up the remove liquidity page. Now, you can go ahead and use this slider to kind of uh, adjust the amount that you want to pull out. Uh, and you'll see all the little details here. And then once you're ready, you can just go ahead and click remove. But we're not going to do that. So let's go ahead into the second part of this tutorial and show you guys how to add the single sided liquidity. So we're going to go back to tokens and you can see here that we have KDA. So we're going to go ahead and click add liquidity and this will bring us to the single sided uh, pair. So you'll see KDA KDX is what is selected. Now I'm going to go ahead and swap this to KDA. Now you can see here I only have one KDA uh, available and I'm going to go ahead and just click max. Now once I do that, it's going to put that full KDA in there. And when I click supply, it's going to ask me to go ahead and sign and send the transaction again. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. 
Now we're gonna get to this transaction details here. So now if we just take a second here to look at the transaction details, you can see that it took that one KDA, which was $2.17, and it split it up actually into a half a KDA and 6.89 KDX. So that's a dollar and eight cents uh, of each. And so this is going to allow you to provide liquidity with only using one token and not having to do any swapping. And I really, really think this is a awesome feature uh, and very simple for new users who might not have ever provided liquidity before so we're gonna go ahead and click confirm when we're ready and you will get that transaction pending and I will be right back when that goes through all right so you can see here the transaction went through successfully now if we go ahead and go back and go to my liquidity you will see right here that I now have three dollars and 24 cents worth of KDA or a one and a half KDA and then the 20 KDX where I originally had 13 and it added that other half so uh, my pool share also went up uh, so yeah, all right guys, that's gonna be it for me here today on how to provide liquidity on the CADEX platform. Really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you don't miss out on that 180% APR uh, currently that you can get if you're picking those KDX rewards. Uh, I am very, very impressed with the CADEX platform and then we'll have a video coming out here shortly going over kind of a little beginner's guide of how to use all the things on the CADEX platform. So make sure to subscribe and tick that notification bell so you guys can get notified when that video drops. If you guys wanna follow me more in depth, you can follow me at hidden underscore crypto on Twitter and all my other links are in the link tree link in the description but until next time i'll see you guys later peace